Good morning, Nyack. We are here today at One Salisbury Place in South Nyack, and Frankie and I are excited to take you on a tour of this, this really cool ranch house with a mid-century vibe, even though it was not built in the mid-century. We're offering this at 685. We're on 0.38 of an acre, and it's approximately 1786 square feet on that first floor only, but with a surprise basement, which we're going to take you into as well. So Frankie, come on, let's go this way. I'm going to walk behind you. Let's go, Nancy. The thing that I first noticed when I came to this house is what beautiful condition it is. Everything has just been so beautifully maintained. It just feels clean, crisp, nice. And it has something that I know you're a fan of, which is the open concept floor plan. Ooh, love me an open concept, Nancy. So as we walk in, we have great, really pretty nice hardwood floors. And we can see that open concept. And I'm, I'm just loving this. And as we walk around the corner this way, we enter into that kitchen area. And this is just a house that's made for entertaining because you can relate to every room through each room. So we have really nice mega counter space, new stove, newer appliances. And then if you just turn around that way, Frankie, you can just get that sense if you were doing the dishes, you're really connected with your guests at all times. Or if you had young kids, you can keep an eye on what they're doing. And so really pretty. There's a sunken living room. We have a wood-burning fireplace. And I really like that brickwork. Really, really pretty brick. I, I love red brick. And then if you turn around this way, Frankie, you can see those two sliding doors. We're going to do the backyard last, but I like the way the light just filters in. And we're in a, um, a south-facing home, so we're south-north that way with light. Also, Frankie, we have this great bar area, so you can set up your entertainment space, built-in sound system area. And then we're going to walk this way. Frankie, what's really great about this house is that the master bedroom is en suite. So you have a nice, generously sized room with, with, with really nice closet space, as you can see that way. And then we also have a, a, an own private bath, which is separate from the other two bedrooms. So it's really, I, I like the way they designed this house. It's very well laid out. And we walk back out into that main area. And let's go check out the other two bedrooms. And I, I call that the other bedroom wing, because I think this is like wing worthy. <laughs> Oh, and on the way to the other bedrooms, we also have a laundry area. So this is very convenient as well. You know, laundry sometimes creates a lot of chaos, so this gives enough space so you can contain the beast, the laundry beast. So we have one bedroom here, which is currently being used as an office. Feels very peaceful and nice. And then the other bedroom this way. Once again, double closets and everything. And then we have a separate bathroom right outside. And once again, beautifully maintained. And as we walk around this way, we're going to pass by that sunken living room again. And let's walk. You know what, Frankie? I'm going to do something that I don't usually do, which is to show an unfinished basement, because I'm, I'm so impressed by this space. So this basement runs the length and the width of the house. So if we're 1786 square feet up here, we're adding quite a, a bit of additional space down there, too. And the approach downstairs is very easy. So there are proper stairs, not too steep, really comfortable to walk down. And as we go into this main space to the right, you can see how vast this is. Nancy, it is huge. Down this there. is huge. This is really huge. It's, it, it, it seems nice and dry. And it would be quite easy to finish this or even use it in some capacity not finished. And so as we swing around this way, Frankie, we have where the utility room is. And, and I think that that would really be like your storage space if you were to wall that off, which is perfect. And then there's actually even more space to the left here, which is a separate room. And the current seller's using this as all storage. She never needed this extra space down here, but it exists for you, should you need it. Great. And as we walk back this way, let's just pan that area again so everybody can see. And then let's go back up those stairs, which, as I said, are you know really easy to, to get up and down on. And then I, I think the next thing we should do is probably go outside. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to point out 
that there's a couple of different you know, spaces. So there's plenty of room for both garden, play space, sports space, and entertainment space. So as we walk down this way, we're gonna go through the sliders. Uh, let me get that for you, Frankie. Oh, thank you, Nancy. You're welcome. And let's hang left first. So we have this set up as like a, a table entertainment area with a barbecue, which is really nice, really pretty light. And then as we walk around this way, this is not just the, the yard here, but we do have some nice green, really pretty green space and mulched gardens. But the whole secret surprise is what's around on the side. And this really did surprise me. So remember, we're talking 0.38 of an acre, which is hard to find in a, in a walk to downtown situation. And so we have this nice flat backyard here as well with some pretty trees. This would be perfect for garden space or soccer nets or, or whatever you might want to do. Um, and it's all fenced in back here, which is really, really great. And so once again, Frankie, we're at one Salisbury place in South Nyack. We're offering this at 685. Oh, and by the way, one of my colleagues will be running an open house here tomorrow from 11 to one, that's Saturday, 11 to one. If you'd like to come in and take a closer look yourself. Um, we have reasonably low taxes here. Uh, and as I said, 1788 square feet plus that basement, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and that mega basement. So I, I think we have it here. Thanks for joining us, and Frankie and I will catch you on the next one.